uh, we're Google Creative Lab. Uh, we've worked on the uh, Google Arts and Culture Natural History Project. And the part of the project that we worked on were the uh, VR experiences, where we uh, brought uh, one dinosaur and one marine reptile back to life uh, with uh, the Natural History Museum in London and the Natural uh, for Natural Fund in Berlin. And uh, we brought them back to life in partnership with the museums, working with their scientists, their paleontologists, their biologists, to make sure that what we were recreating was uh, factually correct. Um, they can be viewed on Google Cardboard uh, and also on YouTube 360 as well. Um, you want to talk about Cardboard? Yeah, so Cardboard is a piece of technology from Google which is meant to bring virtual reality for everyone. So it, it costs from $10 to nothing. You just put it on your phone, you go on YouTube and you can see full stereoscopic VR and also with stereoscopic sound. So that allows to get like a very high resolution experience with a really accessible piece of uh, hardware. And on, uh, for that exact project, we decided that it would be great to allow people to discover this incredible museum, but also to see some of the best known and some of the unknown but the coolest dinosaurs which they have and marine reptiles. And so as Emma said, we did the giraffe at Titan in Berlin, which is uh, a 13.3 meters high dinosaur uh, that used to live in Tanzania 180 million years ago. And I think, if I'm not wrong, it weighed 30,000 tons. So when you go on the YouTube video, you can see it walk around, go in the museum, and it's really like you're next to it. And in, uh, in London... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> And in London, we look at the Romaliosaurus, which is not a dinosaur, but a marine reptile that lived uh, on the Dorset coast. So it's like a very UK story. It was discovered by Mary Anning, who was the first female paleontologist. And uh, that dinosaur is like an eight meter kind of a crocodile, a marine reptile. It's, it's an incredible dinosaur, a marine reptile that many people do not know about. <laughs> So, so I think, um, yeah, so those are really, thank you, really, really, really thorough descriptions. And I think what's really kind of cool for us about this is, you know, you're, you're using um, sort of all these clues like fossils, you're tapping into the uh, scientific community, uh, and then you're bringing together some of the most talented people from the world of production and CG and 3D animation, and you're forming these sort of dream teams to, to try to recreate uh, and bring to life things that were around 50, 100 million years ago. And that's pretty difficult to do. So it was an incredible experience. And, and I think fundamentally, why is it important? It's incredibly important, especially you'll see a lot of the kids down on the other level who had the headsets on, the, the cardboard, just kind of freaking out at how cool this thing was. Because for the first time, they were able to actually place themselves where these things were and have a newfound appreciation for these incredible things that roam the earth. And it's an incredible message to send, especially as we face challenges around extinction, endangered species, and all that sort of thing. So again, tapping into the past to promote this message of preservation for the future.